But we all know Marlon Jackson for his time playing with the Indianapolis Colts and his work with children through his Fight for Life Foundation. On our red couch, he's a friend of the show. Now Marlon is on a new mission. He's launching a digital platform, making it easier for residents to interact with police. The tech startup is called Pulse Analytics, and Marlon is partnered with tech veteran Lisa Mitchell to make it all happen. And Marlon and Lisa are joining us more to talk about it. So good to see you both. And Marlon, you've been on the show and on our red couch so many times. We can't wait to have you back in here. But from yes. an Indianapolis yes. Colts, you know, big time football player to having this sort of tech um, with your name attached to it. Why did you want to do this now? Um, well, you know, th this evolved from some tech that Lisa and I developed with the Fight for Life Foundation. And with the circumstances that we all saw in 2020, um, with a tipping point with police and citizen relations with George Floyd, Derek Chauvin, that whole incident in Minnesota. Um, it came to a point in realization of wanting to take action. I'm a very actionable individual. So it was all about now, how do we empower the people to voice their real time experiences, both positive and negative with police officer and those interactions and to be able to do that through your cell phone, mm. to make this process easier to have your voice be heard to be able to create that transparency with the goal ultimately being accountability, but starting with the empowerment of the people to be able to self advocate and help find a resolution to what we see as a problem with mistrust between policing and citizens in our communities. Hey Lisa, how does it work? Yeah, it's a really simple uh, cell phone app, as Marlon said. You can download it, have it in your hand. Uh, if you are witnessing an interaction or part of an interaction or even after an interaction, again, positive or negative, it's a, a really simple couple of clicks. You can upload and instead of putting your video on Facebook mm. where it's not going to have a productive resolution, you can actually load videos or photos directly into the app. It goes into a productive channel. Mm. Um, that allows for resolution in a meaningful way instead of just opinion. So you, you think about mediation, yeah. right? Like, you know, being able to resolve an issue, they can actually up front in the beginning when filing this incident report, write down, type out exactly how they would like to see this incident resolved. Mm. And the police can have that information up front so they don't have to twist and turn and contort to try to figure out what does this citizen want to see happen. They can have that critical information wow. right up front. And Marlon, do you see this as something that police um, departments or cities will buy this technology from you all or, or, or I guess I should say buy the information? Is that how that works for them to be able well, it, to use it? it? It's the, the ability for police agencies to be able to license mm. the case management software okay. and then be able to, you know, have a subscription to pull the data, um, either the raw data fee or data analysis dashboard to be able to have the license and the subscription to on a monthly basis, but then also for advocacy groups and oversight. Mm committees and even the media mm. to be able to subscribe to a data analysis dashboard to be able to pull this critical data off yourself. So that's a part of the accountability as mm. well. Historically, there's been a lack of action taken sometimes when the information is coming directly from the municipality or the police agency. But we're saying if we include the media, the advocacy mm. groups, lawyers that have access to this critical information as well, we can we can make accountability a reality right you know because the perception is you know even if it's coming from the police there's still that mistrust like are they actually going to do something right so if we can create a direct channel that connects the citizen the police agencies and the advocacy groups that's the transparency that can shed a light on both the positive and negative and give us the information to actually hold those who are wrong accountable and that's the key those who are wrong it's not all officers right but but most times in society we are guilty by association mm -hmm. so, so if we continue to be to not take action we are guilty by association yeah. where now we're creating a, a pathway to be able to be actionable by having the information. Marlon, I have to jump in because we have to hit a commercial, commercial break. It's a hard out. Lisa and Marlon, I'm sorry. We're going to put that survey that we wanted to talk about, Your Voice Matters survey online so that they can take that. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us.